Kenneth P. Laval Stadium was the site for Saturday's Big South Championship game between Liberty and Stony Brook, with the winner gaining an automatic bid to the FCS playoffs. Prior to the game, Stony Brook presented with special edition black uniforms to help pump the team up, and it would do the trick as the Seawolves took to the field before their home crowd. But it was Liberty who would strike first. Quarterback Mike Brown in the shotgun fakes the option and crosses the plane to give the visitors a 7-0 lead. Stony Brook would fight right back. Here's Kyle Essington on play action, finding Chris Fenelon up the sidelines, going to take this one 39 yards into Liberty territory. And that would lead to this. Essington going to give it to Brock Jakulski, and he is off to the races. 39 more yards, and the Seawolves equalize with a touchdown of their own to make it 7-7. Ensuing drive, Liberty trying to punch back. Brown looking over the middle has it picked off by Craig Richardson. A huge red zone turnover by the Seawolves defense. And with that turnover, the offense goes right back to work. Here's Miguel Maisonette now turning the corner up the field for a huge gain into Liberty territory before he's finally wrestled down at the 37-yard line. Then three plays later, play action again. Essington finds Kevin Norell across the middle, and he's going to take it to the house. 26-yard score to give the Seawolves a 14-7 advantage. And now we head to the second quarter. Score tied at 14. Essington going to drop back and find Jordan Gush. Look at the stiff arm. Get off me. Up the sidelines. And that would set up this. Wesley Skippington from 36 yards out splits the uprights to put the Seawolves back in front by a 17-14 score. After another Liberty touchdown put the Flames up 21-17, watches Essington chucks this down the field for Matt Brevy, a 49-yard touchdown strike, and the seesaw game continues as the Seawolves jump in front 24-21, and they take that lead into the locker room. Liberty quickly tied the game with a field goal to open the third quarter, but again, Stony Brook fought back. Here's Essington finding Jakulski in the end zone, and Stony Brook retakes the lead at 31-24. Again, Liberty would tie it, this time at 31, and they threaten to take the lead here when Brown throws a dart to Chris Summers, 42 yards, but again, the defense would rise to the occasion. Watches Brown, has the ball knocked away, and Dan Mulrooney falls on it, and the third quarter comes to an end with the score knotted at 31. In the fourth quarter, Stony Brook would take the lead for good. Maisonette just blows through the defensive line and into the end zone. 38-31, the Seawolves back in front with just 10 minutes to play at Laval Stadium. After another Liberty turnover, Wesley Skippington adds an 18-yard field goal to make it 41-31, and then the reality of the situation begins to set in. Stony Brook had won co-Big South championships in 2009 and 2010, but this year there was no doubt who the best team in the conference was. Check out Kevin Norell and Chris Fenelon with the Gatorade shower. The Seawolves are the 2011 Big South champions, and let the celebration begin. Head coach Chuck Priori given the Big South Championship trophy. After an 0-3 start, the Seawolves rattle off eight consecutive wins to cap off the regular season and earn their first ever FCS tournament bid. They will find out who they'll play on Sunday when the selection show airs live on ESPNU at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. Head coach Chuck Priori had this to say about the FCS playoffs after the game. There'll be 20 really good football teams. Pop, Echelon will have a bye. They'll pair everybody off. Whoever we play is going to have a real good record. And um, <clears throat> we're going to game plan them the same way we've game planned every team this year from UTEP on. And we're going to go on the field and try to be successful. 